What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on an E46. We're gonna do the fuel pump repair. So follow along, this is less than 10 minutes, get it done. Okay, once you uh, move the front seats up, kind of give yourself a little bit of room, all you gotta do is pull up on the seat on each side. You'll hear a little click like that, each side, and then you can uh, work the back seat out of the way. Get your seat belts unhooked. Okay, so on the passenger side, you're just gonna have a little uh, little rubber flap here. You know, just slide this out of your way. And then we have our uh, four 10 millimeter bolts here that hold on the cover. And um, this is just the, um, this will be the access, the, the plug. So you can just, uh, you can do that after you get the cover off. So cover just lifts straight up. You have your cable there, and then um, basically it's gonna slide one direction, and then it lifts right out. So now your fuel pump is unhooked. Now we can work on the clamp. So it looks like this one has been replaced at some point because typically the factory one is gonna be a a permanent clamp. So keep in mind if you've driven the car um, in the last day or so, there might be a little fuel. So we want to get uh, a little rag to catch anything. Okay, so we got our towel there. Uh, loosen up your clamp and then just uh, slide it back out of your way. And just remember if you've driven the car recently, then there'll be a little bit of fuel pressure, but it doesn't last long. You know, if it's been sitting for a couple hours, then you'll be fine. Just remember there might be a little gas that comes out. Um, I just have my, my pry tool is a good way to get the hose off. Oh, got a little, just a, like I said, got a little bit of fuel comes on, not a big deal. And then that's gonna be out of your way. And then we can work on taking the ring off. Okay, so I'm just taking a uh, plain tip screwdriver and a rubber mallet, and I'm just gonna tap it uh, counterclockwise to rotate the lock ring. Keep in mind, this is a lot, uh, not that you have a choice, but it's a lot easier when the car has, you know, a half a tank of fuel or less. Um, if it's all the way full, then um, it's gonna, you're gonna have to take some gas off first before you'll be able to do this. So hopefully, you know, your fuel pump fails, um, not when you have a full tank. So loosen the ring all the way, and the ring comes off, set that aside. Next is, they give you a little pull handle here. We're gonna lift up on it. It kinda gets stuck there sometimes, but it's, it's in a rubber gasket. So we'll take it out ever so gently. And there's gonna be a little hose there. This is gonna come out. We're gonna replace that so you can bring it up together. And just remember you have the uh, sending unit and you have the pickup strainer that sometimes gets caught on the edge. All right. Like that, and then here's your sending unit for the fuel gauge. And then we take it out, take it out of the car. Here we got the new unit, uh, it's Continental. There's the part number for you guys. And uh, let's throw it in. Okay, so what I like to do, um, instead of just putting this in first and then trying to wiggle the unit in, let's uh, put this on the unit first as we drop it down. And then it just gives us a little bit more room to work uh, with. and we just get it up close to the top and then we'll seat it into position right before we finish. So same thing as before, work it in to the unit, just like you did the last time. Get your hose out of the way. And remember this little notch right here will go into this area there. So yeah, you know that you're in the right place. So after you get it kind of down and you get that hose in, then I, I like to just make sure the ceiling gasket 
is in position all the way around the unit. Okay, then you just kind of give it a little check, make sure we're good and secure. Okay, so just make sure you got it seated, it's down far enough, and then you're gonna grab uh, your locking ring and you just wanna get it started on the threads. Yeah, and you know that it's down far enough when it starts getting tight. And then you're gonna do the reverse of what you did before. You're gonna get your plain tip and you're going to tighten it up. And I did about, uh, what's that? About a quarter turn, so I started here, went to here, about 25%, and that's good and snug. Pull off the little dust cap for your hose, and then just get your hose right back on. I never even took the hose clamp off, so we're good. Get it down in position, tighten it up. After you get it tight, get your plug back in. So remember it's gonna, gonna press in and then lock into position by pushing it towards the driver's side. Arrow faces forward and then you can reseat the rubber sealing ring around the lid. Okay, lay your little sound deadening material back into position and now we can put the back seat back in. Okay, so we just throw in the back seat back in. The only tricky part with this is um, you kind of uh, get it in position. And then you got to get your seat belts up, you know, clear of the seat. So pull this up, pull your seat belts up. get them out of your way. So you kind of tuck it in the back first, keeping the front forward, tuck it in, and then push down each side, click, click. Now you have your seat belts back in the middle. There you go. So what I do is I just cycle the key. You hear the uh, fuel pump running. So I just do that a few times. Prime the system the best we can, and then fire it up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.